Hey everybody, it's Adler, and welcome back to How to Date a Magic Girl, the last we left off. Dog. Talking dog. Kind of a douche. But, I mean, it's Akari's familiar, so I suppose in a way it kind of makes sense. Would I probably be a lot worse if it was Kauri's familiar. Oh god. Mm. Anyway. Ah, the doorbell rings in this morning. I swear, if it's a car with another dog summoned from a different realm, I'm going to be very upset. In fact, I'm going to punt her off the porch. Good morning, Addison. I thought I might be here you. Have you come take Hoshi back? No, sorry. Has he been behaving? Well, actually, there's something important to tell you. Can I come in? Yeah, okay. We go inside. Hoshi bounces over to Akari, and she leans down to rub his tummy. Ah, oh, that's the good stuff. I've missed you, Master. Oh, I've missed you too, Hoshi. Please look after Addison while I'm not here, because Addison can't take care of herself. Woof, anything for you, Master. Do you mind if I speak to Addison alone for a little bit? No problem, I'll bounce along for now. Hoshi trots away to the bedroom. So, what's up? Something weird happened last night. Go on. I stayed back late at school to get some exam studying done. When I was packing up to go home, I realized I left the uh, left look at... Papa! I realized I left the book in the lab, so I ran back to get it. When I got to the lab, I peeked and I saw someone else in there. Someone we know. It's probably just Mr. Steiner, what's the big deal? No, it was Yui. Okay, first off, doesn't she live on campus in one of the dorms? And we know she really loves alchemy. Okay, sure, Yui hangs out in the lab all the time. I know that, right? Listen. She was transforming into her magical outfit. She did it easily. Quickly. Like she'd done it a hundred times before. Okay. That certainly puts a bit of a, uh... A stick in the spoke of... My current understanding of how things work right now. Um... She never told us she learned how. She always says she can't do it during practical magic class. <clears throat> so, maybe she's just a bit, uh, a bit shy. What's the big deal? The big deal is what her outfit looked like. Oh? It looked... evil. She looked, looked like a devil with horns, wings, and a tail. The outfits we transform into reflect our souls, our true selves. The fact she's kept her outfit hit, 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 yeah. Her outfit hidden from us, and the fact it looks so ominous doesn't sit well with me. Oh, don't sit well with me. I know I've been suspicious of her for a while, and you always tell me I have nothing to worry about, but after seeing this... I think there's more to Yui than she's letting on. Hikari, I know what you're gonna say. Yui is innocent, but... But, there has to be a point where you realize that all these things mean something. Okay. If we're into they probably mean something, but you're jumping to conclusions about what exactly they mean. Alright? Even if, even if the theory you're going off of, you know, you have some kind of ground to stand on to be worried, again, you don't know for certain, you know? It's one of those things where, okay, maybe caution should be exercised at this point, you know, but a little restraint and some patience as well. Don't jump off the cliff until you're sure that there's no rocks right underneath you. How much evidence will you ignore just because she's your friend? Would you look past all these things for anyone else? For me? I came to you because I thought you believed what I saw. I want to go to the teachers and tell them, but I don't know if they'll simply take my word for it. If you back me up, I'm sure you could convince someone that you use it to no good. I won't do it. Hey, Carl, you've had it out for you ever since the demon summoning. I know some things look suspicious, but she is a first-year student. She's the same as you and I. She has no motive to attack other students. And as for a magical outfit, you caught a glimpse of it from afar. Until I see it for myself, I can't just believe she looks like a devil. But just because I don't want to accuse you, it doesn't, it doesn't mean I'm not on your side. I'll take your words to heart and I'll keep my guard up around her. All I ask is that you give me some time to investigate things a bit further. If it turns out you're right, I'll gladly back you up and let other people know. Really? Well, okay. Holy shit, Addison's actually being sensible. Jesus Christ, what happened? I mean, let me talk to you over the weekend. I'll get to the bottom of this once and for all. Okay, thank you, Addison. Now, I just need to figure out how to meet up with you without her thinking you suspect her of anything. 
Did you enjoy today's classes, Addison? Hang out with me! <clears throat> yeah, I learned a lot, actually. We've been writing more notes than usual. I've been writing more notes than usual. <laughs> the royal we. Yes, we have been writing more notes. We are beginning to take school much more seriously. That's fantastic. I'm glad to hear that. Say Yui. Yes? No, I told you to say Yui. Now, uh, what are you up to on the weekend? Hmm. I have a few movies in my backlog, so I'll probably have a horror marathon. Ah, right. Well, can I join? I do fancy myself some horror. See, I'm having trouble finding a particular ingredient I need to make a potion. Since you're so good at alchemy, I was wondering if you could lend me a hand. Oh, really? I had no idea you were so committed to bring potions. Well, uh... I currently have a C in alchemy. My expertise is the highest. How that happened, I have no idea. <laughs> but there it is. Should go do some more work. Get some, get a little bit more money. Oh yeah, I love it. But I've been searching for the forest for just a long time, and I just can't find this one ingredient. I have no idea how to use the forest, really. Last time I just kind of thought that maybe I was figuring it out, but I have no idea. Unless wait, wait, uh, was it what? Does it go off perception? I might have even asked it last time. I don't remember. I think maybe perception affects the forest. The forest. I go there all the time. I think I could definitely help you out. But in fact, I've hung out with you a few times in the forest. No smoking pot, though, because, you know, we're not cool. Uh, that'd be fantastic. As long, as long as you don't mind, of course. Not at all. It might actually be fun. I'd like to spend some time together with uh, someone friendly. Uh, so many of their students have been treating me poorly. I'm so tired of everyone giving me dirty looks, thinking I killed that girl. I discovered her right before you came along, and yet no one accuses you of anything. She might resent me for that, and I could understand it, even if, even if it's uncalled for. It's, you know, I, I, I get it. I feel the pang of the guilt of these words. It's true I was on the scene as well, and I haven't had a single finger pointed at me. I mean, a lot of that though just goes back to uh, the fact that Yui was. Uh, some of the, the well, suspicion was put on her for the demon summoning first. If it hadn't been for that, then maybe Addison would have taken the brunt of the whole murder thing. But there was already, you know, a, a previous stigma attached to you, and then this happens, and then and she's there too. Oh lord, you know, everything's coming together. I'm sorry, Yui. It must really be tough for you right now. But I'm sure things will get better. Things always get worse before they get better, though. <laughs> At least as they say. <laughs> That's not always fucking true, but... Like everything, there's a grain of truth to it, but it's not a universal law. Yeah, anyway, let's meet up at the forest on Saturday. Would that be okay? Yes, thank you. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. I'll look forward to it. Chat to Hoshi. Okay, here's my problem. Does that take up time? Let's read the book. Uh, no, I still see. All right, well. Uh, what's up, bud? You getting any shopping soon? I got a hanker for lemon and lime soda. Keep waiting on you, we'll get it. <laughs> Every day the cravings are a little stronger. Until I can't take it anymore. I need my lemon and lime soda. Please buy it for me. I'll be forever in your debt. Right. Convenience store. You he has disappeared. Uh, Cafe Shiba convenience store. Right. Uh, I have no idea what the characters are like for food. Wait. Then one of the places to sell sandwiches. Cause I'm pretty sure Ray likes sandwiches. Isn't like the there's not the very first thing like when when uh, Addison met her, Ray was eating sandwiches for lunch. And that's kind of a very thin thing to go off of, but that's just, that's the only life I ever got for that. Uh, right, it's cool. The learning place. Today passes without incident. I need to remember that my meeting with you with the forces tomorrow. Maybe I'll finally be able to figure out if she's involved in the school's disasters. Joy. Okay. Uh, library.
Okay, and what do I want to take now? Perception, magic, and alchemy. I think I'll go with perception. See if I can bump that up. Uh... Right, I'm gonna go check the cafe and see what... Oh, soda, pizza, uh, Yasunabe, croissant. Can I give multiple things this the same person? Taiyaki, coffee, green tea, and soda. I have no idea what anyone would want. <laughs> I should go practice my magic, though, I think. Hmm. I made plans to meet you at the forest today. I better get over there. Oh, here we go. I'm not waiting around for long. I soon spot Yui walking down the path toward me. Oh, yeah. Hello, Addison. Lovely day to explore the forest, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice. So, what ingredients are we looking for? Eric, it's, uh... Damn, we should have come with this earlier. You fucking idiot! A uh, skyfruit seed? Oh, you're just looking for a skyfruit seed? That's easy. I, I know where to find those. Come on then. Yuri takes the lead as we begin our trudge in the forest. Do I have one of those actually? Mandrake? No, I don't. I don't think I do actually. Heartberry? Yeah, no. Uh, I'm out of croissants. <laughs> I have zero croissants. What are these actually? Oh. He would take to leave as we begin our trudge in the forest. She veers off the beaten track, and we find ourselves in a part of the forest that I haven't seen before. The trees give way to a wide clearing. There are a few puddles in the ground, but the liquid within them doesn't look quite like water. Yui steps in front of one of the puddles and leans over to peer at it. These are shimmer pools. Have you seen them before? No, never. What are they? I just said it. They're shimmer pools, you idiot. I mean, the remnants of, the ma of magical energy left behind by particular magical creatures. If you see them, it usually means something wondrous has passed by just recently. Whoa. Unicorns, dragons, rainbow salamanders, Nera snails, and so on are all said to leave shimmer pools in their wake. What the fuck is a Nera snail? They tend to attract other animals to them, who in turn leave behind useful alchemy ingredients. Like this here skyfruit seed. Yu picks up a small seed from the ground and shows it to me. She has a proud smile on her face. See? No, it's rather, rather easy to find. Wow, thank you. I didn't expect to find one so soon. Eh, just need to know where, I just need to know where to look. Oh, god damn it. Oh, what was that? Uh, oh no, this... This is just like what happened before that demon summoning. Absolutely should go. What is that? I see a small figure at the head of the clearing. It's walking forward, emerging from between the trees. Yui takes one look at it and shrieks. It's coming towards us, inching forward ever so slowly. It steps into one of the shimmer pools and immediately stops. Now that it's about ten feet away, I can make out its features. Okay, what are we dealing with? What in God's green hell is that? Uh Okay. It appears to be some sort of doll, though it's able to walk on its own, so it must be a living creature. There's a great big zipper on the front of it and has button eyes sewn into its face. A red devil's tail hangs to the side, occasionally whipping up into the air and waving around. Yui, what the hell is that? I have no idea. You're the horror movie expert, aren't you? Surely you've seen something like this before. I... I... If I had to guess, I'd say it's a homunculus. A homunculus what? Well, we're going off of... Well, we're probably not going off of traditional alchemy versions of it, but okay. A homunculus is a doll that's been given life by alchemy. And who would make such a thing? Well, an alchemist might create one to help a task from the lab, but this isn't the time to be discussing such things. Damn, you're right. Okay, we need to get out of here. We spin around and start running their way, but... Oh. Oh, good. Our escape route has been blocked off. 
another dozen or so dolls that surrounded us. Holy crap, where did they all come from? Do you think someone summoned them? <laughs> no, 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 no. You can stop that right now. That's not allowed. <laughs> you can fuck up with your... <laughs> the dolls were homunculi. Whatever they are, start to laugh. Disturbingly, the laughter sounds like the cackling of human children. Because they devour children. The, the, the bodies are within the, the little suits. Hmm, <laughs> corpses. I spin around to face the first doll that we encountered. Compared to the dolls running us, this one, uh... <sighs> Yeah. This first one seems a little larger. I mean, perhaps it's a leader? It steps out of the shimmer pool and continues toward us. We might have to fight our way out of this one. Fight? But how? Are we even sure these dolls are hostile? That question is answered for you within the next three seconds. The doll leader cocked his head to the side. Oh. 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 Oh, yes. Okay. It's... Uh, it's... <laughs> It's a hentai doll. With a horrific ripping sound, its neck tears open and a shadowy tentacle erupts from inside. What the hell? Its chest unzips to reveal a glowing bloodshot eye. It stares straight at us, through us even, and the semi-detached head starts to cackle again. Okay, we're not getting past this one. Let's turn back. We spin around to face a group of dolls once more. Let me guess. All in, in, uh, in sync. But... <laughs> Psychic! They all follow suit and rip their own heads off. The tentacles inside sprout forth and grope the air erratically. Oh god, stay... Mm, grope. <laughs> yeah, I did say hentai. Right. Edison, I'm, I'm really scared. Yeah, me too, Yui, me too. I'm sorry to say, I'm not really the brave one in this situation. <laughs> this is this is this is right up fucked up alley, and I want to get out. If I don't do something, these things are probably going to eat us alive. I need to transform into my magical outfit. Obviously, I've never done it before, but it'd be such a desperate situation that would work in my favor, or cause her transformation transformation to trigger. I try hard to focus my mind. I shout out the terrifying childlike laughter in the air. Suddenly. Something touches my shoulder. I'm jolted back to reality, fully, fully expecting to see a disgusting tentacle inching its way up my skirt, and up my neck. But it's just Yui's warm hand. Addison, I didn't want to have to do this, but... Stand back. I can take care of them. Huh? Yui gazes into my eyes. I can't quite read the expression on her face. Despair? Shame? Embarrassment? She starts to focus her mind, and a strong wind immediately whips and surrounds her. Encased with this ethereal hurricane, Yui starts to glow with a violet light. Kai was right. Yui is, is able to transform, and she's doing it effort uh, so effortlessly. Why would you hide this from us? Evil dolls, I'll... I'll stop you here! You won't hurt my friends! But you... <laughs> you won't hurt my friend! Poison Shadow Transformation! Okay, Edgelord. Oh, sweet Satan. Damn. Ah, mmm. 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 That's, uh. That's, uh. That's, that's something. That's nice. That's, uh. Huh. <laughs> the Mystic Winds fizzle out as Yui stands confidently in her banging magical outfit. Her hair has become purple, and a large cur and large curled horn sit atop her head like a crown. She's sporting what seems to be a skin-tight leotard. Oh, it's skin-tight, all right. <laughs> I mean, what? Adorned with wicked crimson wings and a devilish tail. If you touch the tail, does she go? Ah! <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> I get to love her shit. This new outfit matches with what Hikari had described. I can't help but agree with Akari. You looks evil in this form. You have a very skewed idea what evil is. Evil dolls, I will banish you from this realm. Back to the toy box with you. Yui bravely steps up to the lead of the dolls. She extends her open palm forward, and then with a single uttered syllable, she fires a blinding ray of amethyst light at the enemy. The doll's face crumbles to dust under the force of the blast. Its tentacle shrivels up and bursts with a sickening pop. A splash of blood streaks across the ground. 
The remainder of the creature's body crumples into the dirt. Mm -hmm. A cacophony of shrieks are up behind us. Behind? Behind us. We turn to face the larger group of dolls. They're ferociously bouncing up and down to some sick beats! Two of them launch themselves through the air, aim straight for Yui. Avoid the tentacles! They'll go for the most vulnerable places! And you have a lot of exposed sleep. I mean, what? Ha! Yui ducks low, rather effortlessly, then launches herself into the air with a spinning backflip. Effortlessly done! She rises above her foes, and with both hands forward, shreds them apart with another blast of purple light. Yui dumps a crouch as she hits the ground. Without hesitation, she dashes forward. Abyssal Scythe! She brings her left arm to her chest and swings it outward with violent force. Of course, it'd be a scythe. A brilliant light extends from her fingertips, cutting through the uh, four of the dolls. A puff of blood and stuffing rises like a cloud above the defeated creatures. Yui, behind you! Another two of the dolls have crept in behind Yui and spit their crawling tentacles forth. Yeah! Yui swiftly dodges to the left, then raises both arms up in the air. Dusk fall. <laughs> okay. She brings her arms down and the dolls simply drop dead, slumping to the ground unceremoniously. Holy hell. Yeah, unholy hell is, is right. That is, that's, mm, mm, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see anything hit them. What was that? <laughs> Only four dolls remain. They gather themselves together and begin to wrap their tentacles around each other. Oh no, they're transforming. They're fusing. <laughs> into one ultimate monster, the boss fight. What are they doing? Powering up. Now entwined in a hideous mass of tentacles, stuffing and glowing eyes, the dolls shoot a long tentacle up into the treetops. They grasp a sturdy branch and lift themselves into the air, then start to build up momentum for a swinging strike. Yui, it's a wrecking ball. They're gonna try and crush you. Yui barely nods, and then crouches and launches herself straight in, up into the treetops. She moves so fast that she becomes a blur. The next thing I see is a flash of blood as the hanging tentacle is severed. The dolls drop from their great height and splatter across the dirt with a sickening sound. Yui reappears before me, gracefully touching down to the ground. That's all of them. Yeah. Uh, are you injured? Uh, no, I didn't. No. They didn't even get close to me. Oh, good. I'm relieved. I couldn't forgive myself if anything happened to you. Yui, you're... You're so different like this. Yes, this is why I couldn't work up the courage to reveal my transformation to you. To all of our friends. But we were in serious... Uh, we were in a dangerous situation. We could have been killed if I didn't pull myself together. Thank you. You, you saved us both. I suppose my secret is out now. This outfit, these powers... They represent my true self. And the truth is, I have a terrible darkness inside of me. Crawling in my skin! I'm not kidding. Um, <laughs> Yui, I have to ask. Are you evil? <laughs> that's, I, that's, I almost, that is such a stupid question. <laughs> are you evil? Are you, and have you ever been, a villain? I would not describe myself as such, then were you involved with the demon summoning or the murder? No! I promise you, I had nothing to do with either of those events. Do you believe me? Somehow, yes, for the power of Hardon. Hearing you say that with such confidence makes me believe you. Good. Because I couldn't cope if you, if you thought less of me. You, you're my friend, and you're important to me. Very important. Yui. Oh. <laughs> and she went from your uh, your son calls me mommy to back to uh, hello sir. Uh, sorry, I can't hold that form forever. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I don't blame you. You were amazing, Edison. Where did you even learn all that? We've never covered those kinds of spells in class. I practice a lot. An awful lot. I want to be useful, but when I found out my magical outfit looks like looked the way it does, I couldn't bear to reveal it to anyone. 
I pretended to be unable to transform. I think you should show me the girls. I think they'll understand. And Prob would be very aroused. Really? Yeah, and I'll back you up. You saved my life today. I'll make sure everyone knows you're not evil, that you're on our side. So what if your outfit looks like a, de like the de like a devil? Who cares? It's totally awesome. And even if you have darkness inside you, I'll stick by you. You've proven to me that you've got good inside you too. Give you a little nudge. Edison, oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. I let Yui lean on my shoulder for support. She's terribly exhausted. We leave the force together and I help her get back to her dorm. Oh, I, I just remembered. I dropped the sky for teeth in that battle. Oh, I'm so useless. Er, uh, uh, never mind about that. <laughs> that turns out I don't need it after all. Hmm, really? But that was how we went to the forest. I heard that I already have some at home. <laughs> Silly me. Oh, Addison. That's, <laughs> I'm just glad everything worked out today. Get some rest. You need to look after yourself uh, so you're fresh for school on Monday. Yes, you're right. Thank you for helping me get home. No worries. I'll see you Monday, okay? Yes, see you then. I'm so exhausted by the time I get home that I can't do anything fucking else. <sighs> I crash on my bed and manage to fall asleep immediately, even despite Hoshu's angry gnawing on my arm. <laughs> now here's a question. Oh, that's back. Does, uh... Do love potions work with dates or not? I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to risk wait. Well, uh, risk wasting one if it doesn't. But uh, okay, wait one more time. What was the in the cafe? Okay. So I think what I'll do for now then is. Go do a little work. Hello, Cowrie. If I go into the Cowrie, a relationship will a relationship will progress to the next stage. Going on a date will take up time. Continue. Yes, but I'll save that for the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy, and I will see you next time.